Hey folks, you know who? No, you really don't. You know me as Crusty Old Marine, but today I am not Crusty Old Marine. Today I am the Crusty Old Captain. Um, I told you guys a while back that I'm going to start sharing some aviation stories with you uh, because, you know, after, uh, well, let's just say over 30 years in aviation, uh, you know, I'm a uh, airline pilot, I'm a 747 captain. And I've had a lot of things happen to me, a lot of interesting stories over the years. So I'm going to start sharing some of that stuff with you guys and uh, maybe some viral videos. A lot of people seem to like those, you know, picking apart accidents and whatnot. But uh, I don't get too far off the channel. Uh, I think aviation stories, because I got a lot we can cover with that. But anyway, all you shooters and reloader types, you're going to love this story because it ties shooting and aviation together. And usually that's not a very good thing, you know, shooting and aviation. But uh, anyway, several years ago, I was uh, commercialing the company Commercial Airline Travels Us from home to our first assignment. So I do not like flying uh, passenger airlines. I'm sure a lot of y'all don't. Uh, I'm glad I'm not a passenger airline pilot. I like hauling cargo. It doesn't talk back. Um, it doesn't get drunk. So it's a lot, uh, a lot better. But anyway... I went through TSA security, and I'm, I'm going to say that uh, this was a while back, and I think the statute of limitations has probably run out on it. I sure hope so, uh, but TSA was in existence, so, you know, when did they come into existence? Uh, 2003, I haven't been that far back, but anyway, I started out of home, went through TSA, got on my airline, and I went to New York. We were doing some flights, so uh, we were under contract to uh, El Al. So, you know, we're hauling a lot of things back and forth to Israel. So I went to New York, picked up my flight, and I operated from uh, JFK to Liège, Belgium. And we had a layover there. So I went to the hotel, got some rest, come back out, go through security in Liège. And we operated the next flight into uh, Tel Aviv, Israel. I uh, went to the hotel there, had a layover, and the next uh, next flight out, we were leaving Tel Aviv, going back up to Liège, uh, like a two-hour turn, and then back down to Tel Aviv. So when I got back to Tel Aviv then, I uh, went to the hotel, and this was wintertime, so, you know, had my leather jacket on, that's what we wore then, and um, so I was hanging up my jacket, and I thought, man, my lips are chapped, oh, I, I need some Carmex, I think I got some in my pocket, so I reached in my pocket, I didn't find the Carmex right away, but I did find that. You know what that is? Yeah, that's a, a spare magazine for a Glock 23 with uh, 13 rounds of 40 Smith and Wesson. But that is also, take the bullets out of it, that's also two to 15 years and $100,000 fine in some places I go on earth. So I'm like, dang, am I ever lucky they didn't catch that. You know, Israeli security missed it. They're supposed to be the best in the world, right? So I thought, what am I going to do? Well, my plan was we were going out to dinner that night in Tel Aviv. So I was walking along the beach and I would pop around out. I don't know. It's probably, probably a little too much paranoia, but wipe it off on my shirt best I could. And then I'd just hold it by the, by the tip and the base, wipe the whole thing off and I'd chunk it in the ocean. And I'd walk about another 50 yards, do another round, chunk it in the ocean. And then finally, when all the rounds were gone, I took the magazine. Uh, we were kind of on a public walkway, and there were some garbage cans there. I took the magazine, I found a rock, and I smashed it, and I put it in the garbage can. And my son then, <clears throat> you know, we've always shot a lot, and I, I guess he was, I don't know, 16-ish at the time. And when I talked to him next on the phone, I told him what happened. And he's, he's like, Dad, why'd you, why didn't you just bring the empty magazine back? And I'm like, son. There are so many places I go in the world that I can get 15 years in prison just for an empty magazine. Hong Kong, for example. Um, I got a story I'll tell you about Hong Kong too later. But uh, anyway, it was just amazing that, you know, three security uh, agencies missed that. And Israeli security missed it. And they're supposed to be like the best in the world, right? Um, I'm glad they missed it. But what's really funny is when I came out uh, to leave Tel Aviv the next trip, this was gone, obviously. And when they x-rayed my bag, there was one guy. He was like, oh, he he was Mr. Mr. Barney Five. So 
I had a pair of grooming scissors in my bag. I didn't have a goatee then, but I had a mustache. So I carried grooming scissors, you know, to keep the mustache trimmed up. And he went all through my bag and he pulled the scissors out and he looked at them. He looked at me, he looked at the scissors. He pulled out a tape measure and he measured the scissors and he handed them back to me. It's like, okay, you, you're good. You go. I, in my brain, I was just laughing my ass off because I'm like, hmm, you missed this yesterday, but you were worried about my little scissors. Anyway, that's some of the uh, adventuresome stories that I have from uh, 30 plus years of aviation. And I'm going to share those with you. And we might do some uh, debrief videos to break down some accidents or whatever. But I'm going to include some more aviation content for you guys. And you guys know my thing, you know, X's win matches, keep the greasy side down. Well, that's where that comes from. Keep the greasy side down. You know, the bottom of an airplane, uh, especially when, when they're flying most of the time, they get real greasy and dirty. So you want that side down. You don't want to be upside down in a 747. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that little story. Um, I thought it was interesting. And like I said, I sure hope the uh, statute of limitations is out of the line. Anyway, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the videos. And uh, welcome all your comments. Uh, every little thing helps. And, uh, you know, until next time, X's win matches. Keep the greasy side down. Check your pockets before you travel. And y'all have a good one.